So I wrote Disconnected Kids to really explain what's actually happening in the child's brain and nervous system and body. I wrote Reconnected Kids to be able to allow parents to understand the changes that they were about to see and that they will see as they're doing the program. But the questions I get all the time is, why is this happening? Why does my child have these issues? And what is it? What's actually happening in the brain? Um, and some parents actually ask me, or is there anything I can do in preparation for having a child? And so this is why I wrote this book. This book was my third book, and it is called Autism, the Scientific Truth about uh, diagnosing, treating, and preventing autism spectrum disorder. But it's not just about autism. It's really about what is happening in a child's developing brain. And in this book, we explain actually what happens, what I believe are the underlying causes uh, of what can happen and why it happens and why it's different in different children. We talk about the difference between what we call genetic versus epigenetic, um, where there are mostly environmental factors. And so what we focus on is, you know, not making people feel um, guilty or feeling bad, but give, just educating them on the realities of it and the understanding that most of these problems are really caused by environmental factors that can be modified even after the fact. Obviously, we work with children that are nonverbal autistic all the time, and uh, we get you know, really great changes and results just to help them become the person they were meant to be, that this genius. One of the things that I emphasize to parents all the time is any child, even an adult that I work with, the reason why they have imbalances in their nervous system and their brain is because they're brilliant. They're gifted. They're genius level skills in certain areas on one side or the other. And this can lead to a developmental imbalance. You're more likely to become unbalanced if your brain is really gifted. So I try to make sure that people understand that we don't look at these as deficiencies. We don't look at this as uh, an issue that has to do with a deficiency. We look at it as areas are too strong and that may hold back other areas temporarily. But we can, we can change that to varying degrees. Um, and the fact that these are mostly environmental, there's not genetic mutations per se or damage, there's no injury to the brain. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about these issues and what can re realistically be expected. And so that's what I wanted to do is give people a real perspective. Again, give them some hope based on real science because most people are told, well, you know, just that's it. Just accept it. There's nothing that can be done. And that's not true at all. So this book is really about the education. It really is also uh, geared to be a preconception book that people that are looking to conceive, what are some things that they may be able to do to have the healthiest pregnancy, to have the healthiest child, and to maybe lower their risks of having um, a child with a disability. And so work with many families who have followed this program and uh, we've gotten great results. So this is just a book really geared towards understanding the adult um, and understanding the factors that lead to various issues in children. And so if you really want to know that, the cause, the why, this book is about that.